What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial in Adobe After Effects CS5. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to animate a character using the Puppet Pin Tool. This tool allows you to animate objects in After Effects and it's pretty simple to use. And we're going to select this tool over here and this is the Puppet Pin Tool. Select the head of the character, the body, and over here on the legs. The first thing I'm going to do on the timeline is select U and this is going to set a keyframe for all three pins that I just selected here. And if I move across the timeline and I select one of these pins, you see that he starts to move. So the next thing we're going to do is take this other pin and move it along. So that's not too bad for my first attempt. So I just want to show you guys one more thing with the puppet pin tool and keyframes. Another way of working with this is actually selecting the pin and then control. So what we can do is take the character and move him along and After Effects is placing the keyframes for us. And you'll see it on the timeline over here. Now when I press play, the character is moving, and After Effects took care of all the keyframes. So if you're looking to enhance your animation, there's a motion blur option over here. This will add some blur to your illustration that you're animating. This does help, especially with the vector graphic, because you want it to look a little bit more realistic when it's moving. So let me show you some other things with the Puppet Pin tool. Over here we have the mesh, and I'm showing it now, but you can take it off if you want to. When working with the mesh, you just need to make sure that it's wrapped around the character. If it's not, you can use Expansion. And this will allow us to surround the character, and we can increase it or lower it over here. By default, it might not surround the whole character, so that's why you can use this. Also, Adobe suggests that if you want to have a more accurate animation, or I guess a more refined animation, to increase the triangles. They also said that this increases the rendering time. Besides that, I'm going to show you guys another tool here called Puppet Overlap Tool. Now what this allows us to do is to decide which part of your animation overlaps the other. So if you have two elements, like two arms over here, you would want to make sure that one arm can go over the other arm and it's consistent throughout your animation. So all you have to do is select one pin here and that's going to be the first overlap. And then another pin. Let's make this second pin overlap the first pin. Overlap 1 should have 25% and then overlap 2 is going to be at 50%, but we can also even make it 100% just to increase it. And now all I'll do is I'll take the puppet pin tool, one pin here, and another pin here. Now it's a weird animation, I know, but you'll notice this arm is in front. If you notice anything's distorted when you're animating, use the puppet starch tool, and that will refine your animation. So if you guys have any questions about the puppet pin tool, let me know. I'll see you guys later. Cheers.